Well, a group of World War II veterans flew out of Wisconsin this week on their way to Normandy, France for the 80th anniversary of D-Day. WCCO's John Lordson and photojournalist Tom Avillas will also be there next week. John shows us why some of the veterans decided to make the trip possibly for the last time. It doesn't seem possible that I could go back. Early Thursday morning, well before sunrise, World War II veterans gathered once again, this time at an Appleton, Wisconsin airport, the start of a journey back to Europe. Nice to see you. Where I was 80 years ago. We are so honored. Oh my gosh, this is, we never thought of anything like this in our lifetime. I never knew we would have to get him another passport. Old Glory Honor Flight joined American Airlines to help make this happen. Old Glory was founded by volunteers in Appleton, Wisconsin in 2009. They offer free flights to veterans from across the Midwest. So these men and women have a chance to reflect, remember, and in some cases, rediscover. The destroyer I was on knocked out a German bunker. And like, I'd like to know exactly where that is located. I'm sure I can find it. And when I got the notice that I, was, that I was selected to go, I cried like a baby. Each of the veterans who flew out of Appleton and Green Bay will be taking part in the 80th anniversary of D-Day on June 6th in Normandy, France. The Air Medal. That includes 100-year-old Les Schrank of Bloomington. He left behind the bad memories of the war. And he's looking forward to making new memories with his fellow veterans. I'm glad I lived to tell about it. It doesn't bother me to talk about it. I put all the bad things behind me a long, long time ago. John Lordson, WCCO News. John and Tom will catch up with Les in France, and they will share his story and many others in a special week of coverage from Normandy. And that all starts Monday at 10.